hello everyone and welcome back to the channel today we'll be working on this dresser it's a small piece uh it's very light and there has there is some damage on the top it's cracked and um there is some stains so we're gonna have to clean that up the drawers are good they're solid but the bottom is a, a cork or a fiber board um, but everything opens and closed properly, but it just need to re be reinforced. Now the skirting has come loose from the bottom and over here you can see in the corner where the wood chip. So we're going to repair that as well. Also, the hardware on the piece is really good, but I don't think I'll be using the handles handles at the bottom. Maybe the pulls on top, but not the handles on the bottom. But overall, the piece is not that bad. Like I say, there is some splitting of the wood, but we're going to take care of that. I noticed on this side, there's a split here as well. But we're going to take a syringe and put glue in those and clamp them together. So I'm not going to waste time. I'm going to go ahead and get this piece turned upside down. Now here on the bottom, you can see the center support and it is stapled as opposed to screws so i want to take this piece out first so i'm gonna wiggle this out remove the staples and glue it back together I'll use my screwdriver here and try to pry the staples out. Now that my staples are out, I'm gonna use this clamp to hold it firmly. I'm going to take my piece, center piece, add wood glue to the ends first. Once I have the glue on the end, I'm going to put the piece back in place and use my clamp to pull it firmly together. I'll leave this until it sets up. Then I'll come back and take my nailer and push nails through. But before my glue dries, I want to make sure that I have my center bracket in the right position. So I'm just taking my level and knocking it into the right position. Once it's level, I'll tighten up my clamp and let the wood glue dry. Now we're ready to work on the side. Remember I showed you in the beginning where the skirt had broken off and took an, taken a piece of the side panel? Well, I'm going to use this one by two. I'm going to measure, cut it to size, and to size, and this is the piece I'll use for enforcement to hold the skirt. I'll cut two pieces and use the second piece on the other end so that I'll have support on that end as well. Now I'm in my laundry room. I have my piece of wood in my miter box and I'm using the miter box to give me a straight cut. Okay, I have the two pieces of wood cut for the side. I have the clamp on the center piece. And so now I'm just gonna take my wood glue, add wood glue to this piece and I'm going to use of course the straightish edge and I want to glue this to the front and I want to make sure that it's even on the front so that when I get ready to add my skirt there won't be a problem so I'm just going to add the wood glue spread it out and clamp this piece to the side and I'll do the same on both sides
And just like that, I'm ready to remove my clamps. And before I flip it right side up, I'm going to have my husband take some nails and shoot some nails into all the pieces that I glued down. I have my dresser right side up. I fixed the center bracket, glued it. I also glued two pieces of wood on both sides for support. Now I'm ready to attack the crack uh, along the back side of the piece. I'm taking a utility knife and I'm doing this just to open up the crack a bit. And now I'm gonna take my syringe and I am going to Squeeze the glue inside the crack. Now I'm just taking this painter's tool and I'm using pressure to push down and this is opening up the crack just a little bit more and I'm pushing the glue down with this tool. Then I'll use clamps to hold it in place until it dries. not forgetting to wipe away any excess glue. Now I'm ready to remove the hardware off my drawers. Now if you take a look, I have them all sitting here on this sofa and this drawer is about two inches deeper than the others. Don't know why. Uh, and I haven't put the drawers back in since I glued everything, but let's just get the hardware off and see where we go. The glue is dry on the top of the dresser. Now I'm just going to remove my clamp. Now I want to take the smaller clamp over to my drawer. As you can see here on the bottom, the bottom of the drawer wasn't quite holding in the groove. I added a little foot glue and I'm just going to use the clamp and clamp it from front to back to hold it in place until it dries. Again, I'm going to clean up the excess glue and let it dry. Now I'll turn my attention back to my dresser. I'm pressing down, uh, checking the crack to make sure that it's glued properly and it has and now I'm ready to wash the piece down. I'm just going to spray it with TSP and use this warm water to scrub it clean. I 
I'll then take fresh water and a clean cloth and rinse my piece free of the TSP. Now that everything is clean and dry, I'm gonna take a 100 grit sandpaper and my small sander to scuff sand the piece. <laughs> Well, it looks like sanding has failed. This is a latex paint and it's just gumming up on the sandpaper. So I am going to use some stripper. I have this citrus spray and I'm gonna spray the top and the sides of the piece. I'm not concerned about the drawers because we wanna do some, something different with them, but I do wanna strip this paint off the top and the sides, and this would let my paint to go on smoothly. I'm gonna grab some plastic to wrap up the sides and the top of the dresser to hold the moisture in. I am back, and as I lift the plastic up, the paint is coming off with the plastic and scraping off very easily. Now that that's done, the next step is to use some mineral spirits. And I'm gonna use an abrasive pad with my mineral spirits and scrubbed off the rest of the paint residue. I might have to add a little bit more of the citrus spray uh, to help me along the way. But between the mineral spirits and the scrubbing, I should be able to get most of the paint off. So I had to add a second coat of the citrus stripper to the dresser. I did add it to the front side uh, frame as well. So I'm just going to start to strip it off. Now it's time to put the skirt back in place. I've already added wood glue underneath and now my husband is just taking the nailer and nailing it into place. I am back. All the repairs have been made to my dresser. I've also sanded it with 220 grit sandpaper and now we're ready for paint. I'm gonna use my angle brush and prime my piece with my Zinser 123 primer.
I'll be adding two coats of the Zenzer 123 primer, sanding in between. I'll see you when it's done. Again, I added two coats of my primer, sanding in between, and it is dry. Now it's time for paint. I'll be using my Diamond Hard Paint in the Serenity color, and I'll be using this chalk paint brush, round chalk paint brush, to apply my paint. That's it for my first coat of paint. I'm gonna let it dry, apply a second coat sanding in between, and we'll start to work on the drawers. Okay, everyone, I am back and I am ready to do a paint pour. And I wanna do that on the drawers. So I have taped plastic around three of my drawers. I'm gonna try it because if I don't like it, it's easier to get it off three, then all six. So I'm gonna do the three drawers first. The next thing I wanna do is prepare my paints for a paint pour. I have Diamond Hard in the Navy. I have it also in the Serenity. I have it in the Ivory color. Then I have some new Vol paint in Sage. And believe it or not, I'm going to use some copper metallic paint now i just want to thin it out so that it will have a runny type consistency um not exactly sure i don't want it too thin but just thick enough i mix less of the navy and more of the crage and the serenity and ivory and very little of the carper Again, I'm looking for uh, consistency that would uh, run over the drawer top. Now everything is mixed up to the consistency I'm looking for. I'm sorry I was a little out of focus, but now I just want to start pouring it on the piece. So we'll start with the base color or the ivory color and I just want to pour it on these three pieces there is no right or wrong way to pour it I'm just starting to pour the colors so that it can flow over the edge my next color is the crage which is a taupey uh, sage color My next color is the main color, which is the Serenity. My next color is the Navy, and we're not going to use a lot of the Navy, just a li little, because the Navy is a dark color and we don't want it to take over for that reason I added a bit more water in the navy color now it's time for my final color which is the carper and you can already see the paint starting to flow now it's time to rock the drawers to help the paint flow over the edge. If need be, I'll use a blow dryer to help it along. So 
So the paint is added to the drawers and it's still flowing. I really like the first one with a little bit more of the serenity and the blue. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other three drawers. I'll finish the other three drawers and let them dry overnight. And we'll come back tomorrow to see what they look like. I'm back. My drawers are dry and they turned out pretty darn good. All that's left is to put a top coat on and add the hardware. So, and here's a look at the hardware pieces that I purchased, uh, picked out. I got these from Amazon and they were about $15 for a pack of 10. Now this is like a rubbed bronze. So it's dark and I got this because it will pick up the bronze that's in the dresser. So let's just get these on. The first thing I wanna do is find the location for my new hardware and drill my hose. I want to take my Rust-Oleum Ultra Clear Coat and I want to spray my drawer fronts. I want to do this before adding my hardware. Two coats of the Rust-Oleum Clear Coat has been added to the front of my drawers and is dry. Now it's time to add the hardware. Looks like the screws that they sent are a bit too long. So I'm gonna go find some washers to add to the screws before adding them to the handles. I'll be right back. I'm back and here's the washer. I'll add the washer to the screw and then add my pulls. I had to add two washers to the screws. It gave me a tighter fit on the handles. To save time off camera, I'll condition my drawers with my Howard's conditioner and I'll also add an additional top coat. To I'm gonna finish adding the pulls to the drawers and we'll come back for the reveal. I think my paint pour turned out absolutely beautiful. Let me know, what do you think? Even the colors, I wasn't sure, but I absolutely love the colors together. Just the right amount of navy, and then the bronze does wonders for the drawers. Absolutely stunning. The bronze hardware picks up the bronze color in the paint just right. The inside of my drawers are clean and they open and close freely. If you're out there watching and you've enjoyed this video, it's time to hit the subscribe button. Make sure you share this video with your friends and your family. And don't forget the notification bell so you'll be aware of all my upcoming videos. I want to say thank you all for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day. God bless. I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.